Hey YouTube, it's Angelo9607 here, and today I'm going to show you how to SSH into your iPod Touch or iPhone. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is look up WinSCP on Google, or whatever you want. So I already looked it up right here, just WinSCP. And, well, most of them, you can download it from a lot of sites, but the one I downloaded it from is from download.cnet.com slash winscp blah 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 and just click on that and click on download now alright I already have it so I'm not going to download it right now alright once you got that you're going to have something like that a little icon with a little lock a blue arrow to the left and a green arrow to the right so let me show you how that is Alright, now you have this, now just leave it alone and go back to your iPod. Alright, on your iPod what you're going to do is want to open up Cydia. Let it load, it might take a while. No. Alright, now, once you um, open Obsidian, go to search, go to, and type in open SSH, and you're going to want to download that from Cydia, Telesfaro, no, you don't need any, any sources for this, to secure all remote access between machines, just download that. And I'm pretty sure most of you already have this, but you're going to need SBS, SB settings also. Yeah, it's kind of typing bad right now. Yeah, I'll just let it reload. Sorry, my iPod's kind of screwed up right now. It's gone pretty slow. I have to do a lot. Be patient here. Alright, thanks for your patience. Alright, now just look up SP settings if you don't already have it. Right there, SP settings. Just download that if you don't already have it. Alright, and once you have that, you're gonna want to look up. Pretty sure I'm not positive, but I think it's toggle SSH. No, it's not that. If I don't have it, then it's probably not that. Or S S. Hmm? I'm guessing you don't need anything. All right. With OpenSSH, is pretty much what all works, so you're pretty much all good. So I just slide the top of your screen. And just make sure, okay, the SSH thing isn't going to be there when you uh -oh, slide the top. Just go to More. Go to Set Toggles. And just toggle it on right there. How I, how I already have it on, just, just put it from off to on. Alright, once you've done that, make sure you have it on. Make sure, just be positive that you have it on. Oh, my God. 
right now it's respringing because I just remember, yeah, you have to respring it, so, yeah, right now it's respringing my iPod, so, yeah. Anyways, you're already done with that part, you don't need your iPod for now. So, once you, um, uh, turned on the SSH, you're going to want to go to new on the Win SCP. Put your host name as whatever your IP address is. And let me just open this up again so I can show you what I mean, how to see this. And just slide the top of your screen and you'll see your IP address right there. Wi-Fi IP address 192. Whatever, that's my IP address. And we'll just copy it. this one all right put the username as root password alpine alpine just remember that alpine a l p i n e and you're pretty much done and just put save and put it whatever your name you want i already have mine saved so i'll just log in here and let it search for you all right so once you log in or save or whatever, you just gotta simply log into it and you're pretty much set. Here's all the stuff that I have on my iPhone. See, just you can just look around there, change whatever you want. Like if you look it up on uh, different YouTube videos, have like a lot of different ways like to change the sliders and stuff like that. Just look it up. Well, anyways, this is how you SSH into your iPod. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.